Let's say you have put a lot of effort to create a model like this, which is a wash basin. Now you want to use this model in another project, or you want to use its materials in some other file, like this, which is a new project you're working on. So we are talking about two different files, you want to copy items from this file, and use them in this second file. In case you just want to use a simple object like this, you can use the old method of Ctrl C and Ctrl V, between two Blender windows, it should work, but there is a better way to do this. So in this target file, let us go to the file menu, and you'll see two options here, called link, and append. This append option is good, it gives us a simple standalone copy of some object. And this link will result in a linked copy, let us first go with append. You have to select the source blend file, then double click, or just click on append. So you will now get some options listed here. We have camera, we have collections, we have lights here, then we have materials, an object and others, you can select whatever you want to import or copy to the second file. So if you double click on mesh, you'll get something like this, the basic structure of the mesh objects, you won't get the materials or anything else, there is no other data attached to it. So instead of that, let us rather go with objects. You'll get a list of all the objects that are present in the source file. We need the sync, so select it, and then click on append. As a result, the sync will get imported here. For the time being, let us hide our default cube. The best thing about this is, the object that we imported has come with all its materials and the animation data. So if we go to the material view mode, we see that the object has all its materials also imported, you don't have to do anything. And for the animation part, you can see that some keyframes are visible here, it means, the animation data is also imported. If we run the animation, the sync will rotate, which we did not program, it was like this in the source file itself, so you get everything copied to the new file, animation, rigid body physics, materials, almost everything. Now if you make any change to this copy of the object, it won't affect the source file, and similarly, if you edit the object or the material in the source file, it won't be at all visible in this copied version. So this is just a simple duplicate, but sometimes you may want to keep only one version of the object or the material, so that if you make a change in the source file, it will reflect in the target file as well, they will be like two instances of the same thing. So for that purpose, we have got this link option. Let us first delete the sync. Now go to the file menu and click on link. Then select the source file and double click or click on link. You'll get the same set of options like before. So go into the object folder, then select the object you need and link it. The object will get imported like before, but if you go to the object properties tab, you'll discover that all these fields are now disabled, you cannot change anything for this object, because it is a linked copy, or you can say read only copy. If you try to go into the edit mode, you'll notice that even this is now disabled. So you cannot change anything for this object here. But if you change it in the source file, that change will now get reflected in this linked copy. In this case, Blender is not really creating a copy, it is using the same data block that is present in the source file. And you can update it whenever you need, the change will automatically flow to this file, but of course you need to reload this file after you change the source. Now we'll see one more example, how to copy only some materials from an external file. So let us remove this. We'll bring back our default cube. And for this cube, we want to use some material from this file, maybe we can use the material of this floor. So this time, we won't import any object data from here, we just want to copy the material from one object, like the floor, and use it in this file. Currently, if we go to the materials tab, we'll see that there is only one default material present here. Now, go to the file menu, and let's go for append. We are currently inside the object folder, so go back, and instead, get inside the material folder. We'll get a list of all the materials that are in the source file, and you can use them. Or, alternatively, you can simply drag and drop the external blend file to your new project file. You'll get the same options of link and append, let us append it. Here is the list of folders like before, we'll get inside the material, then select the floor material, and append it to our file. Now in the material list, you can see the new floor material, and if you select it, it will be applied on all sides of our default cube. So the material is imported from the source file, and it's very interesting because you get to see the same material on some other object. This way, you can easily copy anything from one file to another in Blender, or you can link them. It can be very handy in a distributed project environment. 
but remember that this is not same as the import and export feature. This import export is meant for a third party software other than Blender, and the link and append options are for another Blend file, so they are internal to Blender. That's all for today, we discussed how to reuse items from one Blend file to another. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.